What does it mean for you to actively and publicly live your faith in community with others in society? What that means is I think that we have two moral purposes. I should, in everything I do, try to be a better person. It's not an easy job and every religion is like that. They try to inspire us to do better, to make our character better, to just be better people. But a second purpose is to also contribute to society, not just to to contribute and serve society, but to really try to transform society, to try to make it a better place, not leave it the status quo, not leave it as it was. There's lots of work to be done in our communities, at the local level and in society across the nation. So these two ideas that I not only have to work on my own betterment, but also the betterment of society, really are the two things that, that drive me or try to. And I'm not saying that I'm successful in that, but at least I try every day. And that's one way that the Baha'i, my Baha'i faith impacts my life. How has your faith shaped and inspired your professional and public life? When I was going back to school after, after my undergraduate work, I was trying to think, what should I take that can allow me not only to, to be a better person, to also meet the material needs of, of my life, but also to contribute to society? So I took education. I taught school, high school and college for a number of years. And that was one way that I tried to feel as if I was contributing to society and a better society. So this two moral purposes in my life and thinking of it in that way, not only a personal way, an individual way, but in a collective way of how one could transform the collective society. That's one definite way that my Baha'i faith has influenced me. In your experience, why is it important that expressions of religious faith be present in the public life of Canada? The question comes up, uh, does religion have a public role in Canada? I think it does. Too often we try to suppress religion in a way and say, fine, it's fine for private life, it's fine for the church and the synagogue on Sunday, but please don't talk about religion or, or spiritual matters or ethical matters even in the workplace or at school or in, in, in the life of, of society. I think it's important that we try to get over that. Yes, we have to be courteous, we have to be polite, we have to be respectful of others. But I think at the same time, it's important to bring some of the, certainly some of the ethical values of religion into, into conversations that, you know, we should try to love each other or at least be friends with each other and respect the nobility of other people. Uh, sometimes an ethical principle like the equality of men and women, which is certainly a, a very central principle for Baha'is, is an important one. How we understand that may take a lot of discussion and a lot of trial and error to figure out how to do it best in the workplace, in the family. It's a real challenge. The thing that I admire most about our indigenous brothers and sisters is how they're not shy about referring to the Creator and His creation. They're not shy about bringing into a uh, public discourse, whether it's a public conference or a meeting. They're not shy about saying a prayer at the beginning of the meeting. And I think other members, other Canadians who are members of religious communities can learn from that and follow from that particular way of recognizing the Creator. Sure, many people don't believe in God and that's fine and we should also have that in society and recognize and respect their views. But I think also people who don't have religious views should also respect the views that those of us who do. And so being a Baha'i where one of the principles of the faith is that we're not saved alone. We're really saved spiritually and materially if our brothers and sisters are from whatever religion, from whatever background. And so this idea that religion should be compartmentalized and kept aside and hidden and we should be shy about it, I think is a, is a value that has to go. In a pluralistic society like Canada, we should all embrace each other and each other's faith and each other's religion. And I think that I certainly try as a Baha'i to recognize that that principle in my religion is also echoed and reflected in different ways in other religions. So if you ask me, I think religion does have a public place in Canada's life.